da 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 making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my two little helpers here. You want to tell them your name? My name's Emery. My name's Lawson. What's that else? Um, uh, um, ears. He has his elf ears on. Emmy has her candy canes on. And today we're going to be showing you guys some different Coffee Christmas cups. crafts for kids. So we have three different crafts that we're going to be doing. And I did want to tell you guys that this video is a collab with my good friend, Andrea. She's a mommy of one, soon to be three, because she's pregnant with twins, which is so awesome. So she's also going to be doing some fun crafts on her channel. I'll have the link to that in my description box. Make sure after you watch our video that you go on over, watch hers, get some more craft ideas, show her some love and let her know that I sent you. So let's go ahead and get into the craft. The first one that we're going to be doing is, is making, mug. it's like a hot cocoa mug. So I kind of drew like a mug shape on a piece of construction paper. They're going to decorate their mug however they want. When they're done with that, we're going to take actual mini marshmallows that I have in this bag. And then we can eat some. I told them they could eat some. Yeah. And we're going to glue them to the top of the mug so it looks like a bunch of marshmallows, marshmallows in, in a cup of hot cocoa. So that is the first craft we're going to be doing. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Woo! Yes! Yeah. Keeping people please. But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, and I Okay, I already had these mini marshmallows, so we're going to use these. Can I have one? Yes. Ow. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to see how this does. This is a spray glue. If this doesn't work, I also have like regular Elmer's liquid glue. And if that doesn't work, I do have hot glue. Um, if I have to use the hot glue, I'll probably just do it myself just because I don't really want to use that with them. But hopefully this works. Um, it's a multi-purpose spray glue. So we'll just use this and see how it does. Okay, attempt number two. Spray glue did not work. We're going to try this good old Elmer's and see how it does. Alright, let me stick them on there. I've been long to hold you close, forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da da da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like after they're done. I think that's really cute. We're going to leave it flat um, and let the glue really dry really good. Hopefully these stick to it. After it's dry all the way, I can cut it out. Um, so it will be more like just the mug shape and hopefully those marshmallows will stay. If not, I'll just have to go back later and hot glue them. I know hot glue will, I think will work. So I think this is really cute. And I wanted to show you guys these. If you do crafts with your kids a lot, these are great to keep on hand. Um, they're little magnet adhesive dots. These are great to keep in your craft closet because anytime you do crafts like this, um, just glue, actually these are sticky. So they have adhesive already on them. So you can stick this on the back of whatever it is that you're making and then it's instantly a magnet. You can put it on your fridge, you can give it to grandparents or other loved ones, um, makes a really cute little gift. So this is like a pack of 100 and I got these off Amazon like forever ago and they'll last you a while. 100 is a lot, even if you have three kids like I do. 
So um, just a little mom tip, if you do crafts a lot, keep these in your craft closet. I'll try to link them in my description box if I remember. Um, so with these, after they're all dry, I might even put these on the back and make them a cute little uh, magnet for our fridge. To me, and when we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about Okay, the next craft we're going to be doing is these really cute light uh, Christmas light bulbs on a string. So this is a free printable I found on the internet of like the um, big bulbs. So this is going to be Q-tip painting. If you've never done Q-tip painting, I love it. It's really fun. All you need is a Q-tip and some paints. These are paints that I've had forever. This is like Crayola also. Crayola. These yeah. aren't Crayola though. I think these are like Dollar Tree. Um, so anyways, you're going to use a Q-tip and give them a bunch of different colored paint. I like to use like a disposable plate so that we can throw it away. And then, um, all they're going to do is dip the Q-tip into the paint and then dot paint all over those light bulbs. So we're going to use a gentle hand, right? You don't want to push down too hard, um, with the Q-tips. After they're done doing this, we're going to let these dry. Once they're dry, I will cut them out. Then I have this really pretty like red and white candy cane um, looking rope string. Um, I'll cut them out and then glue the string so it looks like they're hanging on can the I string. Can I hang that above my bed? Sure, you can. Yay! And then I'll glue it on like another piece of construction paper. You'll see the end product at the end, but I think this is gonna be a really cute craft. We've done Q-tip painting before, but we have not done this light bulb activity. So let me go ahead and get them some paint I and then- Okay, so they finished. This is what it looks like. That turned out so cute. I love how the dots look. So we're gonna lay those flat, let those dry, and then I'll show you the process of me cutting them out and adding the string. So when we filmed this video, my two-year-old was napping. And then at the end, when I was putting all the pieces together after they had dried, she had woken up, so she wanted to come sit beside me and do her own little craft. Um, there are times that when I involve her in these craft videos, but that is usually always when my husband is here to help because it's just a lot helping her because she needs my attention 100% and my other two and trying to film this for you guys. It's a lot. So this time I had to do it while she was napping. Hopefully next time she can also be involved in the video, but she was pretty happy to sit beside me and um, watch me and talk to me while I finished these up. Okay, the last craft we're going to do is one that we have done before. I love this one. This is, they wanna be in the frame. 
This is a Rudolph the Reindeer hand print and I love hand print crafts. I've said that before in my craft videos. They just make really cute keepsakes as your kids grow. You can always look back and see, you know, how big their hand was when they were little. So this one, um, you're gonna paint their hand brown. Yes. And all of these supplies I got from Dollar Tree. So a dollar, these brushes, you can get like a five pack for a dollar. And then after that dries, you can add googly eyes. These are ones that we've used in the past. Mm -hmm. And then in the past, I have used a red pom-pom and stuck it on as the nose. And I thought I had some left in my craft stash and I only have other colored pom-poms. So instead, after it dries, I'll take red paint and do a thumbprint for oh. the nose. So that'll work. But if you do have red pom-poms, um, I recommend doing that instead because it just looks really cute. And there's several things you can do with this. Again, if you use these magnets, you can make it a really cute little um, keepsake for the fridge. What I did with ours from the past is I punched a hole in it, strung ribbon in it, and made it an ornament for our tree. And they look really cute. Actually, I'm gonna show you right now what ours look like. Okay, she just ran and grabbed this one from the tree. This is one we made either last year. I feel like it was two years ago, but um, that's what I'm talking about with the little nose and the googly eyes. This is so simple, but it's really cute. And like I said, this one's an ornament. You can make a magnet or you could um, just make it on a canvas or whatever. Um, so for this, since you're using paint that's pretty wet, I would recommend doing this on like a heavier paper. So these are cardstock. So they're a little bit heavier. They'll hold up a little bit better. So right now what we're gonna do is paint their hands. From house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Oh, a Merry Christmas Day Oh, oh We're chasing snowflakes as they're falling down While Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we... Okay, those handprints did really good. Um, that's how they turned that's out. Options. So now we just need to wait for those to dry and then I can do the red thumbprint for the nose. Warmer by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Merry Christmas Day guys enjoyed hopefully this gave you some ideas of things to try with your kids thank you so much for watching always appreciate the support you guys are awesome please make sure to, to check out my friend Andrea her link is in the description box um, send her a lot of love I know you guys will love her channel as well and we'll see you in the next one right guys yeah, <laughs> yeah! bye, bye. bye.